Welcome to another video from Lockdown Electronics with me, Bill. This time we're going to take a look at a multimeter. It's the Venilab VM600A. Venilab emailed me and asked me if I'd like to review their meter. I said yes, that's fine as long as I can be honest, which they were more than happy with. So let's go straight to the bench and see what we've got. Okay, well here we have the meter. It's the Venilab VM600A and in the box we get a manual the meter itself in a protective bag there some leads a thermocouple and a couple of fuses so i'm going to get this uh, set up and then we'll uh, put it through its paces okay here's the meter then with batteries installed and something i like straight away is that when you do insert the batteries you undo that uh, phillips head screw there and this uh, cover comes away uh, along with the stand and allows you to access the battery case without having to um, uh, fight to get the um, the protective uh, boot off the outside so so i like that very much um, it's got a magnet built into the protective boot so if you want to um, stick it to a, a suitable surface it will do that um, and obviously the bench stand is a, a very handy feature so um, switching on we get nice little uh, nice clear display uh, my uh, old eyes uh, quite like a nice large display like that and um, it does say incidentally as it's happening about here that in these uh, low voltage ranges if you short the leads together the display should return to zero and that is correct it's obviously on quite a sensitive range there so we've got uh, by default auto ranging uh, we've got voltage, current, resistance, capacitance, frequency, all the various bits and pieces. We'll have a look at, um, at quite a few of those in a minute. Uh, we've also got a backlight, um, which is nice and clear. And a long press on the backlight produces a, a, a flashlight, or as we prefer to say in Britain, a torch. Um, and that's uh, quite a handy feature. That goes off apparently after about 30 seconds. Uh, which is again um, rather handy and uh, again a single press returns it to to off and by default we've got a 15 minute um, auto power off function again that can also be overridden right i'm going to get set up and um, take a few measurements okay we'll make a start with resistance and uh, as usual i'm going to uh, do what i always do with multimeters i've got a a 4.7 ohm resistor here and I've got a an 8 mega ohm resistor here so we'll see what uh, the meters like on the, the two ranges you can uh, have a look at the um, uh, specifications online I'll make sure there's some links in the description um, but we've got here um, 4.7 ohm resistor so let's see what she makes of that yeah so that's coming out at uh, 5 ohms and let's go to the Eight, well it's supposed to theoretically be 8.3 but um, it comes out around about 8 point, um, about 1 on my LCR meter and we're getting 8.15 mega ohms there so yeah seems absolutely fine uh, on resistance while we're on resistance um, that setting gives you continuity diode and resistance so function should swap us around to uh, uh, we get a a sound symbol there that should now give us continuity so it's not instant it's not great um, but we get a visual uh, indication with the flashing uh, yellow LED there yeah and we'll go on to diode now which i think we should get there yeah and i've got a selection of diodes here so i've got a, a one n4001 here let's see what she makes of that uh, hopefully that way it's going to make nothing because that's reverse biased let's try it forward biased now see what we get uh, yep yeah, 6.19 that's around about right for a silicone diode i would have thought let's try a couple of leds i've got a blue one here and that's coming out at 2.57 forward uh, bias we should get zero the opposite way let's just make sure yeah and we'd expect a different voltage for a red led so 
let's see what we get there nothing reverse biased and forward biased we're getting 1.77 volts so um, yeah uh, those three things are fine uh, I'll just now get set up and have a look at uh, capacitance okay capacitance then and I've got a selection of capacitors according to the manual um, it should be able to, there's a range from six nanofarads up to um, 100 millifarads if that's uh, to be believed uh, so first of all I've got um, a one nanofarad here so let's see what she's like at the bottom end of the range 1.047 yeah it's pretty good we got a point uh well a two two point uh, two nan n there yeah it's coming out nicely for that and we've got a uh, 470 uh microfarad electrolytic here so let's see what uh, she makes of that obviously take a moment to to, to read that i to charge it up uh 478 yep yeah, i think that's um that's pretty close so for the hobbyist reading values of capacitors yeah that's that's pretty good and uh, in line with the um kind of performance you, you would expect from uh, this sort of meter right let's get up and uh, uh, set up and uh, and try the meter out and see if it uh, agrees with itself okay i'm going to do my little um verification experiment and uh, i've got here an led current limiting resistor supplied off five volts you can see the leds uh, light there hopefully you can see that on the brightness of the bench um, so i'm going to measure the voltage across the current limiting resistor and that's coming out about 2.9 2.88 2 2.88 going to call it 2.89 i think let's just see if i can repeat that yeah i'm going to call that um 2.89 volts uh, now what I'm going to do is measure the resistance of the current limiting resistor so I'll take it out of the circuit and it's coming up at 686 well 0.686 kilo ohms or 686 ohms let's just try that again yeah so we've got point 686 ohms uh, k okay. so 686 ohms is the easy way to do it and then now what i'm going to do is move the positive lead to the milliamp range we're going to go across to milliamps and we'll now put the meter uh, in circuit with the led and the resistor and see what we get from a, a current point of view and we're actually getting a measured current there of 4.2 milliamps yeah let's just try that again led lighting and yeah 4.2 milliamps so let's see if um if the maths actually agrees with that so if we rearrange we've got vehicles ir which is ohms law so if we di divide volts by resistance it should give us the current so we got um 2.89 volts uh, and that's divided by 686 uh, ohms gives us 0.0042 amps or if you like uh, 4.2 milliamps so bang on so the meter certainly agrees with itself and in the, the bargain there you got um, free revision on ohm's law okay on to frequency same arrangement uh, meter lead still attached to the output of the signal generator currently it's producing um, five volts peak to peak at two hertz and the meter uh, agrees with that i was just um interested to see what it was like um from a, a low frequency point of view now the stated um frequency range is up to uh 10 megahertz so that's that's quite a stretch for just a pair of leads so we'll see what that's like so it was okay at 50 hertz let's just jump straight to 100 kilohertz and see what she makes of that uh, so yeah 99.99 kilohertz there which is good let's try uh, one megahertz yeah 999.9 kilohertz so yeah it's pretty close um, and I'm going to hop straight up to uh, five megahertz which is doing nicely so I'm now going to step up in one so I'll go up to eight megahertz yep yeah, nine 10 megahertz there again yep 
extremely close indeed. Now that's the stated limit. Let's see if we can go beyond. We're getting 10, 11 there, 12, 13. Um, it's more accurate there than it was lower down. 14 megahertz, 15 megahertz. That's quite a stretch for um, uh, just a pair of leads into a meter and it's reading that uh, rather accurately. Let's try a little bit more, see what we can get away with. 16 megahertz. There's 17. Yep, yeah, it's reading our okay up to 17. Let's try 18. Uh, yeah, still reading 18. Wow, I'm impressed at that. 19. Wow, okay. Yeah, 20 megahertz. That's quite remarkable. 21. <laughs> Didn't really expect it to go anywhere like that. I'm going to step up a little quicker. Yeah. Wow, it's still reading at 30 megahertz which is the limit of my signal generator so yeah i'm pretty impressed with that um now you usually find me saying this in meter reviews and if you've watched any of my previous ones you'll know that um any, anything like this for a hobbyist is is actually amazing because these are uh, cheap and cheerful meters really um and you get such let's just um, switch that off so it stops jumping about um you get such uh, uh, they're such cheap and cheerful meters and in the 1970s my first multimeter was this one um, which I got from Maplin um, I think it was the uh, uh, Erdington store um, and this at the time uh, I was delighted with and unfortunately I've kept this purely for nostalgia reasons now it doesn't actually um, work anymore the meter movements uh, had it but hey you know that's life uh, but I can't remember how much this was uh, but at the time for me this was the height of uh, electronic accuracy and I'm sure if you've um, got as many um, uh, turns on the coil as I have you'll know that uh, yeah this was the kind of thing you had and uh, digital meters like this were the stuff of dreams so what we're getting here now is, is quite remarkable um, compared to uh, uh, what we used to get. So we'll just have a look at uh, a couple of the other features and um, see what we get. Okay so something I don't really use is this uh, uh, detection, uh, remote detection of AC voltage but I know a lot of you do. So on the NCV setting the probe is here so if I now move towards this um, Euro plug which is energized we'll see what she's going to do. Yeah so we start to get a uh, yellow LED and a beep in there and if I move really close we get the red LED and a faster bleeping so that's the NCV function and uh, just finally switching to temperature uh, gives us the uh, ambient temperature obviously an internal sensor for the meter and included with the meter there is a, a thermocouple which you can attach here which would give you uh, uh, external temperature reading. Okay, well that's it for my look at the Venilab VM600A uh, multimeter. Nice uh, chunky meter, uh, yeah, I like that. Um, if you uh, are the kind of people who give and receive gifts at uh, this time of year, then I don't think you'd be uh, unhappy to receive that. Uh, excellent hobbyists meter. My only criticism would be it's a little slow on the continuity but the rest of it uh, seems absolutely fine and particularly impressed with um, um, frequency um, uh, measurement that's that's uh, surprisingly good and certainly a great deal better than the spec so yeah nice little bit of kit don't think you'd be disappointed thanks very much for watching and hope it's been useful look forward to seeing you on the next video